All right, guys, it's here. My shop TNA unboxing video. Very excited for this one because I've been waiting for this one for a while. Uh, why did I buy stuff from shop TNA and as I try to cut open the damn box? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I won some money on DraftKings.com. I won some good cash daily fantasy sports DraftKings. Use the promo code Chase. I'm just kidding. I don't have no sponsorship with DraftKings. If I did, all of a sudden, it'd be over. It'd be over. So uh, I don't have no sponsorship with DraftKings or anything like that. And I won some money from there. And I was kind of in a in a in a eh mood, you know, not really in a good mood, but an eh mood. And so I decided, let me go buy some wrestling stuff. And I bought some. I went to WWShop.com. There wasn't really anything of interest on there for me. And then it hit me. I was like, wait, maybe Shop TNA has that item out. And it turns out, yeah, they did. They had the item I was looking for, uh, but then all of a sudden, I saw that if you spent over forty dollars, you got free shipping. And if the item I got was like thirty bucks, it was going to end up being like three dollars shipping or something like that. So I said, "Fuck it, why not?" So I bought a special that I've been wanting for a while now. So I bought that special. Then I bought another special because I saw that if you spend over seventy-five dollars, you get a free gift. So I was like, "Oh, this is pretty cool." So I got a free gift. For spending over $75. I bought a joke item as well. So can't wait to see what's in here. Can't wait to see what's open. Just got to cut off this last piece. And let's get started. The fuck? Tina, are you fucking kidding me? I spent over $77 on your damn asses. You guys ain't give me shit. Can you motherfuckers do anything right now? I'm trying to help you in your financial need. And you motherfuckers can't give me shit. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I actually got all the items. Uh, the reason why I unboxed them all is because I got the two specials. I think everyone knows what you get from Shop TNA. They're the fun specials. I got the blue and the brown bag special. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what with these blue and brown bag specials? They didn't even put them in these bags. I was all like, are you kidding me? They didn't even put these specials in their bags. I was so upset because the thing about these special, these two special, it's supposed to be a fun mystery of what you get from TNA. And I didn't get no fun mystery. I got the first DVD spoiled for me. I had to close my eyes as I put the DVDs in the box. And I picked one of the random t-shirts that I got from TNA and just threw it in there. So I was all like, oh, man, are you freaking kidding me? Like, these were the two specials I was looking forward to. I wanted fun and mystery. I got spoiled on one DVD. It's no fun if I can see the t shirt Like, yeah, the T-shirts are rolled up and everything like that. But at the same time, I, I just want more mystery. I just wanted more mystery and stuff like that. So I decided to put them in their bags like they're supposed to be put in. But instead, they weren't in their bags. They were actually all spread out and everything like that, which really, really frustrated me. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, the bags were just, like, kind of hanging there and stuff like that. I'll put a screen cap of my initial reactions from my original unboxing that I was going to do. I had I already filmed like an unboxing of stuff, but I didn't see the shirts or the DVDs or anything like that. I filmed like my reaction. I was just holding the empty blue and brown bags. And I was like, the fuck is this shit? Maybe that'll be the screen cap. I was like, why is there empty? I was like so pissed off about that. So I decided to redo the recording just for the, for the mere fact that that's the fun in it when someone opens up a brown and blue bag and stuff like that. So I just grabbed one random t-shirt and the four random DVDs and I threw them in there. And then I grabbed uh, four t-shirts and I threw them in the blue bag. Uh, for spending over $75 on Shop TNA, you get a free TNA Knockouts 2016 calendar. All the beautiful woman, women of TNA. You get all of them on the back right here. So what am I going to do with this? I don't know. <laughs> like in all honesty, I already have a calendar. Uh, I was hoping the free gift was like more t-shirts or something, but it's this giant magazine-like <laughs> calendar. So anyone's interested, just hit me up. You know, maybe we'll make this a fun little contest. I don't know if anyone's interested in this. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you have Brooke Adams for the. I mean, she's on the cover. I don't know when she is. So if you wait till October, you get to look at Brooke Adams. I mean, that's like kind of a special way, I guess, like that. So. I don't know. It's up to you. If you guys are interested in it, just let me know. Hit me up. Uh, put in the comment section your favorite Knockouts champion and reasons why. And then I'll probably choose the winner or something like that. So, 
just let me know if you're interested, if anyone's interested in that knockouts calendar, because I don't think you'll see much use besides like hanging underneath my computer table, or maybe I'll just hang it up back there for window dressing, but nothing much else. So then the next gift that I got, this is my joke gift so I could reach the $75 so I could get the knockouts calendar. I got, yeah, the Pope is pimping, baby. Oh, babe, this is TNA. I got the Pope's sunglasses. Uh, these were actually pretty cool. These were originally, can you believe for glasses like these, and you guys are not feeling the material that I have on, on my hands, for glasses like these, these are like pretty much like cheap glasses. You buy at like a freaking uh, gas station or something, the, the way that these glasses are made. But originally TNA was charging like $27 for these. And they had them on sale for like $4. So I got them. <laughs> so I was like, I got these so I could get over the free gift limit for TNA and stuff like that. So, yeah, I got the Pope sunglasses. And yeah, pretty cool stuff if you ask me. Pretty cool stuff if you ask me. Uh, I wish I would have gotten the Aces and Nates bandana. Originally, I saw that. I was like, fuck, man. I could have gotten the Aces and Nates bandana. But, hey, it is what it is. So I got the Pope sunglasses. I could wear those around. Now, it's time for the blue and brown bag specials. I got the blue bag special and I got the brown bag special for TNA. I've never opened these specials before. So uh, I, I was actually excited to get these specials because I was like, man, I, I never really opened these specials. I never really got a chance to see what it's all about. And, you know, it's kind of fun. You know, the TNA DVDs that I get from here, I'll probably actually keep. Uh, mainly just because I don't really have much of my TNA library anymore. And TNA doesn't have like an on-direct service. But for 20 bucks to get like four DVDs and a t-shirt, that's a nice deal. That's a, that's a nice deal to me. So I decided to get this because I never got it. So right now I'm grabbing the t-shirt. See what t-shirt I got for t-shirt number one out of five that I have. And I got, oh God, DVDs, calm down. It's like the DVDs are trying to fall off my lap. So I try to open the t-shirt. Let's put the brown bag down. I got a Dirty Heels t-shirt. That's pretty tight. Dirty Heels, Bobby Roode, Austin Aries. Pretty nice, simple t-shirt, too. This is definitely a t-shirt that I could see myself maybe wearing around independent shows. Uh, maybe if I have, like, no other clothing, I would wear this uh, out to public. Not, like, Maine, L.A., but maybe if I went to school or something or if I'm just chilling with people I know, I could just wear this for shits and giggles. So, yeah, this is actually a nice one. This is actually a nice design t-shirt, too. Gray. It's a different color than most wrestling t-shirts. Now, I guess wrestling t-shirts are gray, too. But it's not the typical black t-shirt that most wrestling fans have. <coughs> I actually like this. I like the letterings and stuff like that. So pretty basic t-shirt. I, I just don't like this part, the impact wrestling part. I don't I want people to know this is a wrestling shirt. Like I get it's branding and stuff like that, but sometimes it's fun to make wrestling shirts without people knowing that the wrestling shirt. So I got a dirty heels t-shirt. Pretty cool. I like that actually. Now for my DVDs. Now I'm gonna choose the DVD that I already got spoiled on. Because right when I was going through all this stuff, so that way I didn't know what I got. I got spoiled on this DVD. Hard Justice 2006 main event was Jeff Jarrett taking on Sting for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels taking on LAX for the NWA World Tag Team Championship. Uh, I don't really remember this show all too much. I'm, I'm going to be dead honest here. I really do not remember this show all too much. I see my boy Monty Brown, the alpha male. Samoa Joe and Ryan on the Falls Count Anywhere match. So this show actually looks pretty promising. So maybe one of these days I'll just check it out because I'm extremely bored. I'm like, you know what? I got to go watch some Hard Justice 06. Next DVD that I have, and the rest of the DVDs, thankfully they were flipped on their back. So I didn't really get to know what they were. I wasn't really looking at the match card. I just stuffed them in this brown bag so I could just have the mystery of them. So the next DVD I got is Genesis 2012. I think this is the... First Hardy heel run. No, I, I think this is Babyface Chef Hardy. I'm, I'm, oh yeah, Babyface Chef Hardy. He just won the title from Austin Aries. Getting my shit confused from TNA. Uh, so, eh, you got some decent stuff here. Nothing really too spectacular. So, maybe I'll check it out one of these days. Next DVD that I got. The heck is this? Look at this bot back as I'm reading it. Uh, TNA One Night Only World Cup. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, one night only DVD. I, I I've never seen a one night only show from TNA, so this is actually kind of interesting. The World Cup. Let's see what matches we got on this. We got Magnus versus Mister Anderson at Team Aces and Eights. The fuck? When did Aces and Eights become like a country? 
They're a freaking faction. What the different country? God damn. Uh, Kenny Keen taking on Sanjay Dutt. Lady Tapa taking on Hannah Blossom. That sounds interesting. Doc slash Nooks taking on Funaki and Petey Williams. Okay. Uh, Wes Briscoe taking on Rockstar Stud. Is that Miss Miss Bell or was Spud called that at, at one point? Probably it was called that at one point. Bad Influence taking on the British Invasion. Okay. Evil Leash taking on Mickey James. James Storm taking on Macias. And Team USA versus Team Aces and Knicks. Okay, that, that actually sounds pretty decent. I might check this out one of these days. Uh, like I said, never seen a one night only. I like the World Cup concept in the olden days of TNA. So that's pretty interesting. One night only. And then finally, oh, all right. Wow, I'm actually going to got this. I mean, yeah, that, Okay, I'll take this. I'll take this. The main event of this show is not good, but I'm glad I got this show. Uh, Destination X 2005. Wow. This is actually a... a I remember this show very vividly. That's it's really cool. I always remember the Ultimate X match from this one. Um, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Elix Skipper, and R-Truth. So, man, dude. Or Raw and the Truth Killings at this point. But still, you get the idea. Dang. This is actually pretty cool. I actually like this one, so th this is pretty cool. I'm glad I got this, actually. I got some decent DVDs out of this one. Uh, nothing I would say is too extravagant, but I got four pretty decent DVDs. I got Destination X, got a One Night Only that I've never seen, and then two pay-per-views that are kind of eh, I guess you could say, for TNA. Uh, I was hoping to get more character DVDs and stuff like that. Some people get lucky on them. And the t-shirt was pretty cool, so the brown bag special, pretty, pretty neat if you ask me. Now it's time for the blue back special. This is all going to be t-shirts from TNA. So let's see what I get. First t-shirt that I pull out. The Revolution. <laughs> James Storm's group. The Great Sonata. <laughs> I loved it. Okay, I'll take it. This is a, definitely a t-shirt I'll wear at the gym or freaking walking around the house. A bedtime shirt, something. So I'll take that. Revolution. <laughs> that was it. That's some good stuff back then. I actually like the revolution, unlike most people. Oh! I actually like this shirt. Are you kidding me? This is actually a cool shirt. <laughs> Ego! The Extraordinary, Extraordinary Gentleman's Organization. Bobby Roo, Kazarian, and Christopher Daniels. Kazarian and Christopher Daniels were known as bad influence at the time, but that's pretty cool. I like this. I actually like this shirt. This, this shirt's pretty nice looking. I mean, I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of it. You guys can see the lettering. It's all like etched out. I'm not really a big fan of that type of lettering and stuff like that, but this is actually a pretty nice shirt. Like, I could actually wear this one outside of public and stuff like that. You know, the Impact Wrestling's logo pretty small, so like, unless you're like really close to me, you won't even know it. But this is actually pretty cool. It's like a fun little cocky shirt you can wear. So, I actually like this shirt. This shirt's actually a good color scheme of like black, yellow, and white. So, Gotta say, like this shirt a lot. So, I'm, Ego, I actually like that group. The Ego Hall of Fame segment with Bobby Roode, one of my favorite TNA segments ever. I would, like, I love when the divas are, like, talking. I would kiss Bobby Roode. <laughs> it's just, like, <laughs> good stuff. Gotta watch if you haven't seen it. So, what's this one that I got? Um, Does not pay play well with other. Who the fuck is this? Oh, I got a Mr. Anderson t-shirt. <laughs> You fucking kid. Really, TNA? You couldn't get... You were on a roll, TNA. You gave me uh, three decent shirts. Uh, a good one in the Eagle shirt. I really like that Eagle shirt a lot. But you gave me three decent shirts, and then all of a sudden you come back and you give me some uh, uh, Mr. Anderson crap. Nope. That is going to be a bedtime shirt. Maybe cut off the sleeves on that one. I'm not wearing that in public. And then the final shirt, it's a gray shirt, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care if it gave me a double dirty heel shirt. That's fine with me. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. I mean, it's a nice looking shirt, but <laughs> I'm not wearing this in public. Are you kidding? I'll wear it. To, maybe for WWE house shows, I'll randomly wear this. How about that? I'll wear this for WWE house shows or something. But, no. This, this is such a basic ass shirt. There's nothing on the back, too. It's like nothing cool. Like, this is not like a tour shirt or something. This is just a, a basic shirt with the fucking logo on it. Are you Look at how basic this shit is. So goddamn basic, man. Trash. No, it's not trash. It's just... 
It is trash, but I'm not throwing it in the trash. It's just going to be a bedtime shirt. So, you guys saw all that. Now it's time for me to reveal the item that I bought, that I was going for. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows what I was trying to go for and what I was getting on Shop TNA. Pretty sure it's pretty obvious. The Essential AJ Styles Collection. 30 plus matches. 12 hours of action. For this set. Very nice visuals, very nice vocals. Let's see how this DVD set looks like and stuff like that. See what how TNA packages DVD set because I, I I was looking at the box and I was saying to myself, how the fuck is this for discs, man? Like I thought it was actually going to be a nice big box or something, but no, it's a basic uh, DVD box. So I was like, I was actually kind of worried. I was saying to myself, man, how is this set packaged? Because if it's going to be like, do you guys remember the Tombstone of the Undertaker WWE DVD? How they, it was a three-disc set, but all three discs were on top of each other? How stupid was that, man? I was so pissed off with my coffee. I was like, are you kidding me? You can't get that right, WWE? Like, fuck. So, the Essential AJ Styles. Moment of True Power, this is packaged. Okay. So, you got the DVDs, and then you can flip over right here with all the DVDs and stuff like that. So, that's pretty cool. And all the matches... I guess they're behind the DVDs and stuff like that. So, let's take out disc one. Oh, my God. They literally made it hard to take out these discs. Um, so, yeah, you can see all the match listings for disc one. If you take out all the DVDs, you get a nice little AJ Styles. Right? That, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that a lot. So, you to put the disc back in. Eh, somewhat. How about these discs? Are these discs? Yeah, these discs. Are, this, this is like taking out a PlayStation 2 game or anything like that. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, ooh. Did I break something? No. Well, hopefully I don't break any of these discs. I'm really excited for this one. So I'm just going to take out disc four. Actually, these discs are not really that hard to take out. You just got to push it hard enough. So that way you guys can see this side and stuff like that. I'm not trying to show you the match listing. just kind of showing you the art and stuff. So really cool stuff. Uh, very excited to watch this DVD and everything like that. Huge AJ Styles fan. So very excited to see... All these matches. I already know what all the matches are and stuff on this DVD. I kind of spoiled myself because I was really excited to see if this DVD was worth the purchase. Uh, for me as an AJ Styles fan, this DVD was worth the purchase. This DVD was worth the $30 I would spend on it and everything like that. Uh, I don't know if there's any interest for a review on this DVD. Keep in mind that there's 12 hours of wrestling and you know Chase's quota. Chase doesn't sit there and watch all 12 hours of stuff. So... Uh, if you guys are interested in a review, once I'm done watching this in full, I can tell you all about it and stuff like that. So, yeah. It features stars on Impact Wrestling. They put it really, really small right on the DVD. It features stars from Impact Wrestling. So, yeah, there you have it. That's my Shop TNA unboxing and stuff like that. Uh, I actually was happy with the brown and blue back specials. I, I, even though the last two t-shirts really were like kind of eh for the blue bag. I was, it, it, it was, it, it was cool. I, I, I liked it. You know, it was fun kind of going through the mystery and stuff like that. I wish TNA would have, uh, packaged it a little bit better in my personal opinion. Like why do you have all the stuff not in the respective bags? I mean, that's the reason why you get these, you, you get these. So that way it's just like, it's fun little mystery. If I already know half the stuff and I'm looking through it, it's kind of, it, I don't know, not a fan of that kind of stuff. So Really, to be honest, I uh, wish they would have done a better job packaging the brown and blue bags. But otherwise, I can't complain from TNA. Uh, the stuff came in all perfectly fine. There was no damages to anything like that. So, good stuff. Uh, if you guys are ever bored or you ever want it, the blue bag special is like, I think like 20 bucks. And the, no, 25. And the brown bag is 20. So, uh, if you're asking me which bag is better, obviously, I think the brown bag is better. Because the blue bag, it's more or less if you just want more wrestling shirts and stuff like that. If you just want some wrestling shirts. I don't think they're going to give you anything that's new on Shop TNA on the blue bag. I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time purchasing it. So the blue bag is kind of like if you want more wrestling shirts to wear. You know, just for like independent shows or just in general. Go with the blue bag. But if you want to try to like improve your TNA DVD collection. Like seriously, four DVDs. Like if you look on their website. How much all these DVDs would probably cost or just online in general? Fucking 20 bucks? You can't argue with that. That's pretty, that's that's good price right there for four of these DVDs and stuff like that. And just one t-shirt. You know, you get an extra t-shirt just for buying four DVDs. It's like buy four, get, get a free item. So, I definitely say the brown bag special, if you're ever interested in it, I definitely go with that one. 
Uh, let's just hope they package your brown bag special correctly and not empty in a bag. But, you know, I would definitely suggest the brown bag special. Um, so, yeah. As for the AJ Styles DVD, like I said, if you want to check it out, see what's up with this one. I'm very excited to see what's up with the AJ Styles DVD. So, thank you guys very much for sitting through this long shop TNA unboxing. If you guys like what you saw, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at ChaseOliver68. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your day. Peace. Do the P1, baby. P1. P1 to end the video. I wish I had the AJ Styles gloves. Come on, WWE Shop. Get those open.